Uh, yeah, cool, we're off. Um, welcome for a start. So yeah, today we've got obviously Leah doing um, her, her talk on her boxing journey. And unlike the majority of the people on the chat, she's been at other, at least one or maybe two other clubs, but she'll tell you all about that. Um, we've also, I think basically you've seen part from Jay, we've got uh, Nikki as well. Um, I'm sure Leah will talk more about Nikki, but Nikki and Leah train together. So I thought it'd be nice to bring Nikki uh, into the into the chat as well um so that's who nikki is um and i'm sure they will talk more about her um i won't say any more because i want to talk over what leah might already talk about so leah it's over to you you just start and then i'll fire some questions i might bring nikki in every now and then and then if anyone uh, puts any questions in the chat i'll fire them at you as well uh but go for it mate begin um my boxing journey so far I started boxing when I was seven and I've been doing it for three years and now I, and I still love it. Um, I got into boxing but I did do gymnastics beforehand but then I broke my elbow on some of the equipment and I had to stay off boxing for a few gymnastics. months. Uh, gymnastics for a few months um, and then when my elbow was like healed um, I was allowed to go back, but then I wasn't um, like confident on the equipment. So then I wanted to try a different sport, and um, my dad mentioned boxing. So I, w I wanted to try it, and my dad looked like around the local area for boxing clubs. Where 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 are you living at at the time? Uh, in Devon. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. So I went for a trial at the at Baron Boxing Club and I really enjoyed it so I wanted to go back. It was a really great club and all the coaches were really nice. Um, there was a good group of juniors that, we, that all sparred together. I think I was the only girl in it, um, apart from Nikki. And um, I had to spar all the boys all the time. and. Just before we go like, too far into the barroom journey, did you find or or what transferred from gymnastics? Like what skill wise did you did you sort of transfer to boxing? Was there anything that you thought actually this probably competing? Okay. Cool. So was there any like any skills in gymnastics that helped you with your boxing at all? Do you think looking back now? Um, I don't think so. No, that's Bad. right. Some people find maybe like the balance or the footwork or that sort of stuff transfers quite well across. But okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, so yeah, carry on about so, yeah about Barham. And um, the main coach Gavin, his son Joe, he's feisty. Um, and um, I learned to take a punch and like move out the way because I used to spar him. Yeah. And. My first sparring day was at Milton Keynes. I was nervous because I hadn't like sparred anyone outside the club before and it helped me gain my confidence. So how, then how I, old were you then when you did your first sort of sparring away from Barham? I think. How old? Seven. Seven. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, cool, Carol. What did you weigh? Like, you, must, you must have been pretty light when you were seven. I think you were like 20. I think the first time Gavin weighed me, I was like, Twenty-three, I think. No, it was like nineteen. Was it nineteen? Something like that. <laughs> All right, yes. Yeah, so carry on. It helped me gain my confidence because when I go back to the club, then I could get in the ring and I'm more confident with the other people that I was sparring with. Yeah. I had a few more sparring days locally around Devon. Um, I came to Wimborne to spar. Um, that was the last sparring day with Barham. And when I walked in, I remember the red and blue lights. It looked cool. <laughs> a disco. So I'm going to bring Nikki in real quick. Um, hopefully it will just change to her when she starts talking. Nick, what was... Uh, do you remember Leah's first day at Barham? Um, I, was, I actually started after Leah started boxing. So I think I started in like 2017, I'm going to say. Yeah. I did, when did you start, Leah? 2017. 2017, I think. 
So what was what was Leah like in the gym at Barham? Don't 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 hold back. So you like it's fine. She got stuck in with the boys. Like <laughs> when I when I first went watching her, and I was like, I'm gonna be like her. Like it's like inspiring me. Like even though she was like little, it was this. Oh. And she was like going in with the boys to pull at it. <laughs> she still does that. I'm gonna do that. Amazing. So she inspired you a little bit. Did, did she inspire you a little bit then? Huh? Did she inspire? So she inspired you a little bit. Yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, definitely. Was, 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 she, was she quite loud or not? Was she loud in the club or was she quite quite quiet? No, not really. She's done, she's a bit quiet, but really? <laughs> as I got to like years of more, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit more louder. <laughs> going to say we can't we can't get her to be quiet in our club. She's done stop. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get back. Yeah, go on, Leah's back on you. Um, you remember the lights? So you just finished sparring at Wimborne, and then then what? So how old were you when you came to us? I still got that photo uh, of you outside. You look about you look tiny. I think you were eight. I think I was like. Just turned it eight and a half. I don't know. Oh my, yeah, I, I remember it. I do. Yeah, I remember sparring actually. I, I remember the um, I think sparred Harrison and maybe a few others. Because uh, Nikki, you're at that as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you would come down. Uh, okay, cool. So then what, Leah? What what after the sparring? Um, I liked how many girls there was to spar with. Um, Dave was very encouraging and said that I did really good. Um, I carried on training hard, hoping to have my first bout with Barham, as I've been doing, as I've been going to a lot of their home shows, which made me want to get in the ring even more, because I'd been watching my friends do like skills bouts and bouts, and I really wanted to do that. Yeah. But I wasn't old enough. No. Um, with my dad being in the army, we had to move. I was really sad I didn't want to leave the club um, as I was so settled and I didn't think I'd find another club like it. Um, maybe one day I could get on about a Barham's home show and see everyone again. Yeah, that'd be good. We, 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 well, we haven't actually been on one of those shows yet, but not through, um, uh, not for anyone's fault really. I mean, we had someone match and then pulled out and just one of those things, but obviously uh, Gav and I know each other really well. so. We will endeavour, as long as they've got someone we can, someone your weight or someone in the area or that's prepared to travel, we'll, we'll definitely, definitely get, get you on the, the next one, next show. Hopefully that'll be amazing. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Go on, Em. Um, the last day at Barham was very emotional. I got some le great leaving gifts and I'll always remember where I first learned how to box. Uh -huh. I got these, they signed them. <laughs> oh, wow, it's amazing. And I got... Oh. oh, is that the photo from outside outside here? Yeah. Oh, really? You're tiny. I remember the shorts as well. They're wicked shorts. Oh, that's really nice. Now all of these people have seen this, so I'm going to have to do something similar when they decide to up and leave and move away. But, uh, <laughs> Good. All right, yeah. Um, so that was your last day. So how old were you when you left Barham? I think I was about nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. Nine. Okay, cool. And then where did the journey take you? Um, I moved back up north to Catrick in North Yorkshire. So yeah, let's go. Where where are you where where were you born? Newcastle. Jesus. So born in Newcastle. Then then where did you move to after that? Germany. Germany. And then from Germany... Devon. To Devon, and that's where we picked up the story, from Devon. So um, so then you went, went back to, back up north. Sorry, carry on. Um, I started at Bertley Boxing Club in Newcastle. Yeah, I know. It was a great experience as I got to train alongside some of the GB athletes. I really enjoyed my time at Bertley training the training was hard, but I learned a lot. I was only at Bertley for a few months, but the club was an hour away, and my mum got a job. My mum got a job working evenings, so we struggled to get 
all of the sessions in so we found we try to find a close we found a closer club yeah um we found this club called Catrick Boxing Club this was my third club so I was definitely expecting to have my first bout here which I didn't <laughs> was, there any, um, was, that, was that linked to the army in any way whatsoever no no okay I remember my first session, Justin, one of the coaches, said to my dad, she's definitely going to be national champion one day. Yeah. Um, I settled in quick and enjoyed it there. We were only at Catrick for seven months when my dad found out we had to move again and I was gutted. We found out we were moving to Lark Hill. My dad looked in clubs in the area. We were learned we realised Wimborne was only an hour away. I remembered my sparring day at Wimborne, so I really wanted to go. Since joining the club, I have loved it. It's nice to have other girls to train with. <laughs> to train with, and I've made a lot of good friends. I, I remember your first session. I know it wasn't ages ago, but I do, I do remember. Were you, I remember, I remember you... the train, uh, like the... First session where I came and tried it out, I think I was sparring Harrison. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, you were. Do you, uh, how did you feel in the first session? Um, I felt really happy that I was at Wimborne and um, I was excited to join Wimborne. You, were, you, were you nervous on the, on the first session to come in? Really? <laughs> Fair one. Okay, yeah, go, carry on. I was nearly 10 when I joined the club, so I got straight in, straight. So I got straight into training for my first skills bout, which I had a couple of weeks after my birthday at the Wimborne Home Show. I was nervous for my first skills, but had, but having friends there, so to, but having friends there to support me helped. My skills bout was great and a good experience, but I couldn't wait for my first proper bout. So, so your skills about so, you you so you were nervous about it. Uh, yeah, because I hadn't re I hadn't really boxed in front of people with a big crowd. Okay, and, and how and how did you find the whole experience from the first round through to the last round? I think it was really good experience. Yeah, enjoy it obviously. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so after your skills bout, what was next? What was up next for the? Uh, um, in January, we all went to Sweden for the Golden Girls competition, which was tough because I had to train over Christmas. <laughs> it was my first bout. I got to the straight final as there was only two of us in the category. Um, and I was sparring an Irish girl and Kiki was sparring an Irish girl and they were in my category, I think. Um, I was scared as it was a big arena with three rings and a lot of people. I fought a good boxer from Ireland but managed to take the win. Yeah, definitely. Did you, were you, I can't remember now, were you up first or? Yeah, I was in ring C and I was up first. Yeah, we had, did we have like, was it four boxers, one after the other, the first four bouts of the tournament or something? Sure it was. I'm sure we had back to back to back boxes. We definitely have back-to-back -back boxes, yeah. So you must have been first, because it would have been age yeah, boys, you, you, Darcy, maybe, and then... I only did a minute, and then I think Darcy was after me, and she did a minute, and then Kiki was did a minute and a half. Yeah, 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 that's right. So, obviously, you said you, you got the win. Did you find... Uh, it's hard, because it's probably your, your, your only sort of, like, second bout, but compared to, like, the sparring and your skills bout, did you find the style the Irish style different to what you'd come up against? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. No, that's just hard. It's only sort of your second bout. Um, tell me more about the opponent then. Was she short, tall? She can't be taller than you. Aggressive, powerful. So, say again? She was about the same size as me. Um, I think she was... Um, Orthodox. Yeah, I think she was. I can't remember. I'm sure she was. Uh, she was a good boxer. 
that's, that's <laughs> and, it. And you, and you beat her. Um, so did you find the skills bound before helped? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, go on, yeah, talk, tell us more about Sweden. Because obviously it was your first bout. It was um, obviously boxing abroad. So tell us more about it. It's quite a big thing. We stayed there for a few days and um, we were in like these cabins and I shared a room with Dave, my dad, yeah. Maddie and her sister. It's a good cabin though. No? Strong, strong cabin that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when I, I think it was before or after I did my, I think it was after I did my bout, we, there was like this little gym um, down at the bottom and then we, I got some like sparring with other clubs around the world. Yeah. And I think it was in, like before all the bouts have started and everything, I think it was in like the last day of the fights. I think we, I think I um, sparred in one of the rings. Yeah, yeah. Say again? I think Darcy and Kiki did as well. Yeah, so I think, I can't remember, it was the same the day before. Um, they had like, obviously they had the, the main hall, which where well, all the, the competing was, and then out of the back they had a separate gym, didn't they? It had a ring in, bags, and everyone would go through there and spar one another. And then on the on the Sunday, I think it was Maddie's bout. Um, Maddie, yeah. yeah, just Maddie's. Yeah, uh, and we we got to spar didn't we, in the in one of the competition rings, and uh, it was amazing, wasn't it? Because there was just uh, different like coaches, different nationalities coming up, kind of with their kids, and you just sparring with just so many different people. Amazing yeah. experience, but it's just I mean, you'd almost go all the way to Sweden just for that type of spar, and it was yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, okay, yeah, so after all your sparring, which you obviously enjoy, what, what was next? It was a great trip and I hope to go again next year. Yeah. Um, since joining the club, we, we're managing to get about quite a bit sparring at other clubs. Um, some of these are Salisbury ABC, Torbay ABC, the Isle of Sheppey, um, and we went to Western Warriors. Yeah. Um, also did an all girls spire weekend in Liverpool and in Liverpool um, we stayed in like um, little rooms and I shared a room with my dad and it was in this like house and then upstairs there was some rooms and then you got to stay in them. <laughs> It wasn't quite what was advertised, but um, it was all right, wasn't it? It, it? it did the job, but it wasn't what, what I what was advertised and what I expected and what we got were two different things. However, it was really nice, wasn't it? It was warm and comfy, and the, um, the breakfast was pretty good in the morning. I found. Yeah. One massive table and all was around it. I thought it was really nice. But uh, so, were you going to talk more about Liverpool or not? Um. I got like there was a few girls that I was sparring on the first day. I think I was where all the juniors were. Yeah. I got I got some rounds in there, and then um, I think I was sparring like upstairs with some of the. I still sparred like people that I sparred down there, but I sparred them upstairs instead. Yeah. Yeah. So it was split, wasn't it? So there was one ring downstairs, which was a bit of a smaller ring, and then upstairs, yeah. three like bigger rings. And the, the weekend, it was a mix of seniors right away down to sort of like well, minors, juniors, minors, schools. Um, but it was, was there quite a bit of sparring for her, girls? Uh, yeah, I think I was just sparring the same few people. Yeah. I mean, because of my weight. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the one thing, isn't it? Was, I mean, there's... The, the, Girl participation is definitely increasing. Um, however, if you're a girl and a, a sort of a stranger weight, or especially a lighter weight, it's, it's really hard to find, find yeah. girls to box and girls to spar. But um, you, <laughs> you've had to spar like heavier girls, heavier boys. Uh, yeah. Should we just chuck you in, see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, carry on. Um. 
all of this has happened to me be, become a better boxer by putting putting me outside the comfort zone. I have my second bout in February in the Wimborne Girls versus the rest of the UK. It was a tough bout because I came away. It was a tough bout, but I came away with another win. That bout was really hard because the girl that I was sparring, uh, fighting, she was. I watched her do another one of her bouts, and she was really good. Um, and she won that bout, which was, which made me more nervous because she was good. But I managed to take the win. There was a there was a great bout, but yeah, there was it was. Do you think there was a a few more nerves because you'd seen you'd seen the girl box before? Yeah. Yeah. So it's slightly different than it. I think obviously if you going into the unknown is going into the unknown, but going in against someone that you've seen box and box well and win, um, kind of adds that extra bit of kind of nerves. But um, but yeah, you boxed really well. Like, was it? A, it was unanimous on that. Uh, I think it was split. Was it a split? Was it? The one in Sweden was unanimous. Uh, okay, but yeah, it was. It was a yeah. Without that, that was your, your toughest bat. But we we always knew it was going to be. But that's the thing. You know, you, you you learn a lot from it. Win or lose, it wouldn't matter. You learn a lot from it anyway. Um, but yeah, that no, was good. Uh, Okay, yeah, so that was the last, our last show, I think. Anything yeah. else after that? Um, I didn't train as hard as I should have before the fight, and it made it harder than it should have been. This has made me realise I need to train hard and put the work in before a fight. So what, what do you think? So I'm going to pick right on the spot now. Give me two things you did well in that bout. Just two things you think, yeah, I did that quite well. Um... I um, moved around a lot and like um so you, didn't, you didn't stay still yet, move around yet. I was like in and out and punching her. <laughs> <laughs> so how we say what you think your foot your footwork was alright? Yeah. And what w- one other thing. Punching her does not count as another thing. <laughs> 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 so give us one one other thing you think, yeah, I did that alright. I think I did good combinations on her. Okay, so you put your punches together well. Okay, cool. Now give me two things that you want to improve on for next time. Fitness. Fitness, yeah. And uh, confidence. Okay, that's cool. Everyone always says fitness and head movement. Everyone always says that. It's like an answer straight away. You ask someone to say, yeah, fitness and head movement. But confidence, I like that. Definitely. Did you think... Did that bout help you with your confidence? Gave you a bit more confidence, a bit more belief? Yeah, because I won. <laughs> but what about it? Forget about the actual winning and losing. What about your performance? Um, I think I did good. I'd say so. But like, it, it wouldn't. It, if I thought you boxed quite well, but yeah, fitness, I agree. Um, um, or well, confidence, yeah. But fitness, yeah, definitely. But everyone can get fitter. Um, but if you'd lost that. To me, when I'm gonna care, it, your performance was you, you box really, really well. So win or lose, I was I always say that I'm not bothered. Couldn't care less if you win or lose. It's all about the performance. I was talking to a coach yesterday, and he had a boxer that box in the quarterfinals of the national elites, box box really, really well, uh, and lost. And his coach was over the moon, and he could, the boxer couldn't work out what was going on. Why are you over the moon? And I lost because he performed brilliantly. Two weeks later, we had a, a bout on a home show, boxed terribly, and won. Went in the change room. Buzzing, and um, the coach had a go at him um, for a really bad performance. Not had a go at him, but was disappointed with his performance. So to me, it's more about the performance than it is about about if you win or lose. Couldn't care less if you win or lose, as long as you perform on the day. Um, okay, cool. Uh, back to you, Keeks. Any, uh, Keeks. Back to you, only because you just messaged me. Back to you, Leah. Have you got anything else? I missed out on a space at the MTK. Box Cup, as I couldn't get a match, but hopefully I can get get on it at the end of the year. It, and it got cancelled due to the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. It? But I so say hopefully there's a few Box Cups coming up in the next, well, from September onwards, who knows, but hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I think it, there should be more, more matches out there now. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, amazing. So, all done?
Uh, I've still got a few more. Yeah, no, great. Go, yeah, yeah, Karen, yeah, Karen, go for it. Since we've been in lockdown, I've been keeping busy and training hard. Yeah. I've been doing some runs and I've been training in my garage. And Dave has been giving us challenges and doing online classes, which has helped because it keeps keeping me fit. Yep, perfect. What was, did, you had a really good week for running, didn't you? In fact, it, there's two stories. One, well, not a story. One, what's the furthest you ran in a week? I think it was like 37 miles. Jeez. And what was the story of you running in your pyjamas? Oh, um, <laughs> I did run five miles before that. And then, because I, I was like four miles ahead of Grace. And then I saw at like 11 o'clock on the Sunday night, on the Sunday night um, that Grace ran four miles. So now, and then she was only 0.2 ahead of me. So then I ran... Um, so then I ran <laughs> in pajamas. Yeah. So you went out and uh, and ran, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure you messaged me and said, oh, "What's the cutoff? What's the cutoff for the leaderboard?" And then I said, and then about ten minutes later, there's a picture of you in your pajamas running. <laughs> Not competitive at all, are you? Not at all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, anything else? Um, my dad has set me up a gym in the garage, which has been really good for me to get my training in. Now I can't wait to get back in the gym and get a date for my next fight. Amazing, amazing. So, what long? So short term. So short term being the next year. What do you want to achieve? Um, the national champs. National champs. It was hoped to be next eight next May. Uh, and what you, you want to enter the national champs and see how so far you can go. Amazing. Um, what else? Anything else for this year? Um, get more bouts in. Get more bouts in. Perfect. And what about over the next? Why well, yeah, ten? Next five? Five? Yeah, five years. Um, England boxing. You want to get on the pathway? Yeah. Amazing. Um, Which in theory you could do in this next year. You could go on the cadet pathway. But okay, awesome. So we will, is, that, is everything? Before I yeah. ask the audience, oh, there's a few people who've got questions for you, you'd be glad to know. Um, okay, cool. That was amazing, Leah. Um, we'll I'll chat at the end. Uh, let's go straight off to uh, Donna or Chloe. Two seconds while I unmute you. Uh, bom, bom, bom. Right, go for it, Don's or Chloe, or both of you. Well, like, because you live an hour away and you go to like three sessions a week, does it like affect your motivation? Because straight after school, you, you kind of have to get ready to travel for an hour. It doesn't really affect me now. I might go in. So you could get home and get think, oh god, no, I really don't want to go today. You're always really pumped for it. Do you yeah. look forward to to the gym? Yeah. Most days, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that good in the winter when it was dark, and I don't really like the drive as well because it's on like windy roads. <laughs> you had to like eat pasta in the car. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Bless you. What's, what's it like training with your sister? Because she's sort of starting, aren't she? Where is she? She's, she's rather quiet. I thought she'd be on the screen. She's in my mum and dad's room. Oh, she's lo lo locked in there, is she? <laughs> 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 uh, okay, amazing. Uh, any more Don's clothes? Like it? No, I just think it's really impressive that Leah does travel as far as she does and has that dedication yeah, to, to the gym, to, to the sport. I think, yeah, she's amazing. Good inspiration to... Yeah, girls, yeah, massively agree. Like I say there's people that live like two minutes down the road, kind of bothered. So, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, no, amazing. Uh, okay, so let's mute bonds and go to uh, Keeks. I think it was Keeks. Uh, Keeks, start talking. Um, do you think you would become a more confident boxer? Oh, is everyone's Wi Fi a little bit? Do you think you do you think you've become a more confident boxer as you have been to three different clubs and have have got more experience from different people? 
Yeah. <laughs> you gonna give us more than that then. <laughs> okay. Well, um, welcome questions so they're not so closed. Because I've been to different boxing clubs and we've learned like different stuff that people haven't learned yet at other clubs. Boxing different people as well. Yeah, that's that's the thing with boxing is that you could go to um, three different clubs and they'll all teach a jab but they'll all teach it differently and, and there's no no right or wrong it's just every coach has their own way of teaching and their own way of delivering each punch um, but yeah and it's, it's it's nothing but good to to experience different coaches and different ideas and tactics so uh, amazing um, any more for any more Carl and Nick you must have a question for her yeah what what do you feel like what do you feel like Got you more experience. Like, what bit in your boxing did you think that you gained most experience from? Question. Um, sparring and having bouts. Was there? Was there? I think was there like one thing in particular, like one moment or one event or one bout, or one spar that you got? You think? Do you know what? I learned a lot from that. Probably my last bout. Okay, yeah, I think from what you just said, yeah, I would have, would have said the same. Um, good question. I like that. Any more for any more? Even just write it in the um, chat. Oh, I'm fat. I'm going to bring you all in so I can see you all. Anyone? I can see you all now. Yeah, I can see you, Chloe. Um, let me unmute. Yeah. Oh, yeah go, go for it. So when you started sparring at the beginning, when you were sparring boys at your old gym, yeah. um, do you think that gave you more confidence throughout your journey? Probably, yeah, because um, in a way I think boys are probably tougher than girls. Like, um, they're, not, they're not scared like, to, throw a punch. to throw a punch. Yeah. I like to get in the ring and just like... Um, got on with it. <laughs> uh, so sometimes you like say you might get with someone and and hit them a bit hard. Not just boy, not just girls, boys as well. So sometimes it's nice to go in with either someone like an older girl or a heavier girl or uh, or a heavier older boy and not have to worry so much about mm. your power because obviously you you do it quite hard. But at the same time, this I mean you're not bad at this, but I know some people that will go in there. I'm not necessarily. I mean, they're at our club or they're on this chat, but they like to throw bombs, but they do not want to be hit hard. So it's, it, it doesn't really work that way. If you want to go in there and let your hands go, you've got to expect it to come straight back the same sort of power, but you don't seem to have a massive problem with that. So what are the, what's what area of, um, of your boxing that you'd like to work on more and how? Probably my footwork. Okay. Um... So I can like move around a bit more and like switch stance. Okay, you want to work on switching? Yeah. How, so how do you think you're going to do that? Drills. Drills. Yeah, cool. So do your drills in one stance and then do them in the next and then bring it into your sparring. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so you got on with this question. What do you think is the biggest mistake you've made in boxing that you've learned the most from? Uh, to, like, not training hard enough before bout. Okay. Is that, is that going back to your last one in particular? Yeah, so that's what I mean. It's, it's always, always all about learning, isn't it? And um, although, you, although you want it, there's still... Um, still lots you can you can take from from a win like I said there's lots you can take from a loss as well um, but yeah definitely your last bout was uh, a huge learning learning experience for you which is great uh, okay I think that's all I've got message um, sorry question wise has anyone else got anything for Leah before I start the recording and just open up the floor are we all good right then so I'm going to stop the recording